Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, Gary, back to talk about the Gen 7 IFS, and it is actually live now. So, I um, was able to take it out for a quick little test uh, in the garage, which you can see here. And then after I made sure everything was working uh, and nothing fell apart immediately, I went ahead and took it out and gave it a quick little run on the backyard course, which is here. I didn't have any major problems there either, amazingly enough. So um, there's still a lot of work to do on the rig in general, but right now it's actually at a functional state. Um, it'll drive, wheels turn. Um, so yeah, let me quit babbling and uh, let's take a look. All right, so there she is. Um, as you can see, the uh, Wheelbase is a little bit shorter than it was before. Uh, I was just at 12, I think it was like 12, yeah, just over 12 inches before. Um, now I think I'm just under 12 inches. I haven't actually measured it yet, but uh, I am going to have to do some trimming or some lengthening um, in the back. Uh, not really sure which direction I'll go yet, if, um, but that's one thing I have to resolve. And it's probably the thing I'm going to work on most the next, um, the most next, so that I can get it back on the trails, get it back driving, um, and have the body actually on there. I, I really don't like driving it without the uh, body on there, having all the electronics exposed, but um, you can see there it actually looks like a legit Raptor from the front now, uh, with no, uh, no front axle. So, let's take a look under the hood. So the way it sits right now is Viterra Twin Hammers, front differential, arms, links, and the uh, diff mount bracket here that I went ahead and made and printed. This one's literally like the, oh man, I don't even know, probably the 15th, 16th version of it. Um, we're using Axial SCX-10 shocks and springs right now. Um, but aside from that, the majority of everything else is still Red Cat. Uh, the links will eventually get changed out. Um, the center skid will get changed out so that I can have a little bit more scale look, um, not have the links hanging out the side here. I've got the uh, Everest 10 skid, which I think I'll try first, and then um, that'll at least move the links inboard. So definitely some work on the rear end coming still to get that a little bit more scale looking. Um, ESE and motor will most likely get swapped out probably a little bit further down the road once I get all the bugs worked out and everything. Um, I don't want to start putting brushless power into it until uh, I get the belly pan done. Uh, but eventually, like most of my rigs, I'll, I'll do sensor brushless on it. Um, but uh, one issue that I am having with the current setup is the dog bones. When the suspension is fully extended, Move it up in the light here a little bit more. When the suspension's fully extended, the dog bones have a tendency to do that. They sit, yeah, there, that one's still in, right at the edge. So I'm either going to do some limiting straps or just slap some shorter um, shocks on it. Not really sure which route I'll go yet, but um, one of those two for sure. Um, steering. While it's about as good as the uh, stock Gen 7, I'd really like it to be better. The main issue that I'm having is the slide steering just hits the rails. Um, I, mean, I get decent turning out of it. Like I said, it's not you know really any worse than the factory Gen 7, 
Um, but it's not not as good as I want it to be. So two options there, both of which I'm considering. Um, one is once the belly pan's done, I can mold some posts into it and use Traxxas um, or some other type of bell crank steering. The other option that I'm thinking of, which truth be told might be even easier, is just to widen everything by about five millimeters. Uh, I'd probably do six so I can do an even three on each side. But truth be told, a new skid wouldn't be that hard to come up with. And that, I could essentially use the same front differential mount and just widen it a little. Um, so I'm really contemplating doing that. But right now I'm not as worried about that. Uh, I wanna get the belly pan done first. Um, that could easily be widened as well once I get it done. So, um, not a huge concern at this point. It'll steer, it'll drive, it'll do what it's supposed to do. So, um, so yeah, so that's where it sits right now. Lots of little things to do, but uh, I mean, for all intents and purposes, um, short of the body not fitting properly, it's a fully functional RC at this point. So, um, ladder frame, front independent suspension, Everest Gen 7. More to come here in the future. Um, I've got a few other projects that I'm working on for the Axial Exoterra, the Axial CX-10 II. Um, so yeah, it's still cranking away and next thing is going to be the body. So appreciate y'all watching. Um, as always, check us out, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, it's been a fun project. I know it's taken a lot longer than uh, initially anticipated, but for all intents and purposes, it's come out uh, about as good as I would have expected. So um, y'all have a good one.